In this video, we'll take a look at whether sodium hydroxide, that's NaOH, is soluble or insoluble in water. There are three ways we can do this. First, we could have memorized the solubility rules. Here's a brief set of solubility rules. And the first rule is that group one elements, sodium, that's in group one, those compounds with these group one elements here, they're gonna be soluble. So the solubility rules tell us right away, this should be a soluble compound. We could also take a look at a solubility chart. So here on our chart, we'll find sodium. These are the positive ions. Sodium is right here. And then on the top, the anions, the negative ions, we're looking for hydroxide, OH minus. There it is. So many of the hydroxides are insoluble. You see that I. But if we go down here and across with sodium, because it's that group one ion, that Na plus, that's going to be soluble. That S means soluble. It'll dissolve in water, break apart into its ions. So we'll have Na plus ions. They'll be aqueous. And we'll have these OH minus ions, which will be aqueous as well. So according to the chart, sodium hydroxide is soluble, just like the rules. There's one more way we could do this. We could just get some sodium hydroxide and put it in water and observe what happens. We would expect that it would be soluble, that it would dissolve and dissociate into its ions based on the solubility rules and our chart here. This is Dr. B answering the question whether NaOH is soluble or insoluble in water. It is soluble. Thanks for watching.